Traquan with Love Voice. We're in Battery Park in New York City, where thousands of people are gathered to protest Donald Trump's recent ban on Muslims. Last Friday, Trump signed an executive order banning entry for people coming from seven predominantly Muslim countries. Trump explicitly stated that he would give preferential treatment to Christian refugees. also explicitly states that Syrian refugees are deemed detrimental to U.S. interests, as well as putting a cap at 50,000 on refugees allowed entry into the United States this year. While several federal court justices across the country have put a limited block on this ban, the Department of Homeland Security has come out this morning stating that it will continue to enforce Donald Trump's executive order. We've seen uh, various figures in the Republican Party come out in full support of this, of this action, including Paul Ryan. Uh, we've seen John McCain and Dick Cheney show some opposition to this ban, uh, stating that, for example, it was a confused process and requires the um, parliamentary review. Um, from the Democratic Party, it seems that almost all of the leadership has come out in block in opposition to this ban. Uh, we've seen even yesterday, several Democratic Party leaders have attended the protests at the various airports. At a press conference this morning, Chuck Schumer, Senate Minority Leader, came out to denounce the ban, stating that these orders go against the American way. But we, of course, know, looking at the history of this country, that that is not the case at all. Since 1882, with the Chinese Exclusion Act, where Chinese laborers were denied entry to the United States for over 60 years. Uh, in 1942, when people of Japanese descent in the United States, U.S. citizens, permanent residents, and, and others, were forced into internment camps, um, almost 120,000 people during World War II. And more recently, after 9-11, we saw the escalation of surveillance, harassment, and arbitrary and illegal detainment of people from Muslim communities. Since Donald Trump took office last week, he's gone all out in his attacks against our civil rights, women's rights, immigrants' rights, Muslims, and LGBTQ folks. Um, these same measures have sparked vast mobilizations against him, a nascent movement in resistance against the Trump administration and his terrible policies. It is still to be seen to what extent the Democratic Party in particular will be able to do what it does best, which is co-opt social movements, channel popular discontent into the dead end, back into the Democratic Party. But the sheer spontaneity of these protests, the vast magnitude of the marches and rallies that we're seeing and that we're attending today, tell us that we can't say what form and what limits this resistance will have. This is Trey Kwan with Left Voice. Thank you.